friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on the WW or the Weight Watchers Blue Plan. It is Monday so it is another meal prep day. I have three fantastic recipes for you. Breakfast, lunch and a dessert that you would never think would be WW or calorie friendly but we're making it that way. So I am so excited for today's meal prep. If you're excited as well, give this video a big huge thumbs up. And don't forget if you're new to my channel or you haven't yet subscribed, I'd love to have you join my community. Just hit the subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. I meal prep every single Monday so you definitely don't wanna miss out. Check out the description box down below for links and discounts to everything I shared with you today as well as all of my other very favorite things. You'll also find nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. So many of you have taken advantage of this service and are loving it and are saying that you are being more successful on the scale than you ever have been feeling like you're eating a lot more and still losing weight. And that's the whole idea of eating in a calorie deficit and losing weight slow and steady. So definitely check that out over on my nutrition coaching website. You'll also find 30 and 60 minute one-on-one -on -one sessions if you wanna to talk to me directly and get a little bit more individualized one-on-one -on -one support. And lastly, down in that description box is my Facebook group, another community that would love to have you. So head on over and join us there. So we have three amazing recipes to do so. Let's get started. For breakfast this week, I'm making sausage and bacon maple biscuit breakfast bake. Whew, that's a mouthful. This sounds incredible cannot wait. So first you're going to need either some turkey or chicken breakfast sausage. Like I mentioned in my grocery haul, Trader Joe's didn't have turkey. So I just picked up this chicken and I have heard that this is really good. So I'm excited for that. You're also going to need some maple syrup. Now I am using regular maple syrup. If you want to use more syrup for the same points, you'd want to do a sugar-free, but I just have regular maple syrup on hand. Some center cut bacon biscuits. I'm using these grands because I couldn't find the smaller biscuits biscuits, but I would recommend the seven and a half ounce can. So what I'm going to have to do is weigh out seven and a half ounces of this can of biscuits so that I'm not using more points or calories than I would like. So if you can find the smaller can, highly recommend. Milk of your choice, I'm just going to use forage or cashew milk, salt and pepper, and then of course some eggs. First thing I'm going to do is pop six slices of center cut bacon into the microwave. This is the fastest way to cook it. I put it on a couple paper towels, cover it with a paper towel, pop it in the microwave. It's about one minute per slice of bacon. So I'm gonna start out with about five minutes. I'm also getting my sausage cooking on the stove. We wanna cook this all the way through so that we can chop it up into smaller pieces. Here are our biscuits. This is actually eight ounces. So I'm just going to, when I chop these up, just discard a small piece. And then that was actually half of that biscuit pack. So I'm gonna pop these in the oven and cook these up for Troy. That way they don't go to waste. While everything is cooking, I actually just pulled the bacon out of the microwave, so that is perfect. The sausage is still cooking. So we're going to cut our biscuits into four strips, and then each strip we're going to cut into three smaller pieces. And then what I'm going to do is just discard one of these smaller pieces to make it about seven and a half ounces of biscuits. I know I'm going to get some questions on my knives. This is actually a three piece knife set from Anthropology. I will link it down below. And here on the screen, I'll pop in a picture of what the three piece set looks like. I love it. I just bought it along with some measuring spoons and these knives cut really, really well. So I'll make sure those are linked down below. The sausage is done, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut it into smaller pieces. I did let it cool for a few minutes, of course, and I'm just going to pop all those pieces here in this bowl, and then we'll assemble the casserole. I've got 30 minutes if you want to spill your mind. Give me all your reasons to why I should take my time. Used to have forever, but you never kept that. So I have a 9 by 13 casserole dish that I've sprayed with some nonstick cooking spray. The first thing we're going to do is just place the biscuit pieces on the bottom of the baking dish. Now we're going to evenly sprinkle over the sausage and then our crumbled bacon. 
I'm going to use this four cup measuring cup for my eggs. I'm actually going to crack in six whole eggs. One half of a cup of almond milk and salt and pepper to taste. And then we're going to whisk this together until all those eggs are mixed up. Once your eggs are mixed together, I'm going to add in four tablespoons of maple syrup. Now here's the caveat to this. If you're using sugar-free maple syrup, you can actually use half of a cup for the same point. So double what I'm using in maple syrup, over double. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir that in, but again, I only have the regular on hand, but I will put the alternative of sugar-free on my recipe website. And now we're simply going to pour the egg mixture right over the top. We're going to cover this with foil and put this into a 375 degree oven for about 30 minutes. Then we'll remove the foil and continue baking for an additional 15 to 20 minutes or until our biscuits are cooked through. Look at this casserole. This looks so incredibly delicious. My house smells like a breakfast place. So good. So this entire casserole makes six servings. That's it, you guys. It is six points per serving on blue and purple, and then eight points per serving on green, only because you do have to account for the eggs, 289 calories. I'm just going to serve this with some fruit. So it's going to be a very low calorie, low point breakfast, and there's bacon and sausage and biscuits. Yes, this is going to be amazing. For lunch this week, I'm making beef bulgogi. I'm so excited for this, you guys. I'm going to pair this with some jasmine rice. So let me show you what's in this week's lunch. You're going to need some green onions, some brown sugar alternative. This is the Lakanto Golden. I will link Lakanto down in the description box with a discount for you guys. You're loving being able to hop on their site and get everything in one place at a discount, so that is what my brown sugar is. I'm just going to cook up some jasmine rice. This can be omitted if you just wanna eat the beef bulgogi on its own or in a lettuce wrap, but I'm going to serve mine with rice. You can use either an Asian pear or a Fuji apple. I couldn't find an Asian pear, so I'm doing the Fuji apple. Some pepper. This is the grass-fed beef flat iron steak. Again, this is from ButcherBox, my favorite place to get my meat in general, especially my red meat. I will link ButcherBox down below for you guys with $30 off your first box. If you want the best meat out there, I mean hands down the best meat out there, definitely take advantage of the $30 off of ButcherBox. Sesame oil, mirian, or some type of sweet wine, reduced sodium soy sauce, the honey gojujang sauce, ginger, and garlic. So the first thing we're going to do for our beef bulgogi is make up the marinade so that we can get it on the steak. I'm going to let it sit for about a half of an hour and really marinate and soak up those flavors. And in the meantime, we'll make up the rice. So in a fairly small bowl, you're going to add one quarter cup of soy sauce, one quarter cut up of the Asian pear, or in my case, the Fuji apple, three tablespoons of brown sugar alternative, one tablespoon of Japanese sweet wine, one tablespoon of sesame oil, one tablespoon of the goja chung sauce, about four cloves of garlic, one tablespoon of fresh grated or ginger paste, about a half a teaspoon of pepper, and three scallions chopped up. And then we're going to stir our marinade together. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. It smells delicious. So I'm going to get that stirred up. We'll cut up our steak and then pop it here in the marinade. So I've added all of the steak, so I'm just going to stir that. I wanna make sure it's coated really, really well in that sauce. I'm going to pop the lid on this bowl and throw this in the fridge for about a half of an hour, and let's make up our rice. So to cook up my rice, I'm going to do one cup of the jasmine rice. 
and then two full cups of beef broth. I like to cook my rice in broth just because it helps take on that flavor. And I figured beef would be perfect with beef bulgogi. So I'm just going to cook this up on the stove top and set it aside until we're ready to cook up the meat mixture. So my rice is done. I've removed it from the heat. I'm just going to let it sit until we have cooked up the beef. So I added some nonstick cooking spray to a pan. Here is my beef and marinade. I'm just going to add the beef and the marinade directly to my warmed up pan. I have my heat on medium high because I do want the marinade to kind of caramelize as it cooks and it should do that with that brown sugar. And then we just wanna make sure the beef gets cooked all the way through. So here is the finished beef bulgogi cooked up. Now the original recipe wanted you to strain the marinade. I didn't do that because I like that extra bit of liquid over my rice. I will of course link the original recipe down in the description box, but I'm going to make up my beef bulgogi bowls and I also have my rice. So for each bowl, we're going to do one half of a cup of cooked rice because I did one cup of dry rice, which should make about two cups of cooked rice. And then over the rice, I'm going to add one quarter of the beef bulgogi with the sauce. Now you can add additional sauce, maybe some more of that gojing sauce if you wanted it a little bit more spicy, but I'm not big into spice as you guys know. So I'm going to stick with just a quarter of the sauce that I already have. And then we're going to top our bowl with just a little bit of sesame seeds for fun. And there's the bowl. This looks incredible. Incredible. This is a very low point, low calorie lunch, but you have your carb, your protein. It looks amazing. So let's make up the other three bowls because this recipe makes four servings. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Do it again and we won't end up as friends. Do it again, do it again, do it again. I trusted you once, but I... So here are the beef bulgogi bowls. You guys, I am so excited for breakfast and lunch this week. I will show you, I did have quite a bit of rice left over. So I'm just going to put this in the fridge. One of us will eat that up. So I'm going to count one half of a cup of cooked rice per bowl. So for each of the bowls, the half of a cup of cooked jasmine rice is three smart points. The actual beef bulgogi mixture with all of the marinade ingredients is four smart points on all plans just for the beef mixture it's only 133 calories and then you of course wouldn't want to add in your calories for the rice so it's seven smart points as it sits on all plans now again on purple if you used a zero point rice it would be four points for you total but beef bulgogi is what's for lunch For a sweet treat this week, I am so excited to make the ultimate Reese's Pieces Monster Cookies. You heard me right, and we're making them WW and calorie friendly. You're going to need some Reese's Pieces. I'm using 100 pieces in the recipe. Pure vanilla extract and baking soda. Brown sugar alternative of your choice. Again, Lakanto, and I will link Lakanto down below with the discount. Lily's chocolate chips natural creamy peanut butter, rolled oats, sweetener of your choice. Again, this is the Lakanto monk fruit granulated. That's my favorite sweetener alternative. And again, you can pick that up on Lakanto's website. All purpose flour, light butter, salt, and one single egg. So to start our cookies, I'm going to add one half of a cup of packed brown sugar alternative one half of a cup of light butter at room temperature, and one half of a cup of Lakanto monk fruit sweetener. And then we're going to mix this together until fully mixed. Once that mixture is nice and fluffy, we're going to be adding in our vanilla extract. We want about a teaspoon, one egg, and one half of a cup of creamy peanut butter. Now we're going to use our handheld mixer and mix until this is fully combined. You could substitute PB2 if you mixed it with water and made a peanut butter consistency. If you decide to do that, you'll want to recalculate the points, but I'm using real peanut butter. Once this is nice and mixed together, it smells so good. We're going to add one and a quarter cup of rolled oats, one cup of flour, add a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, and half of a teaspoon of baking soda. 
We're going to mix this on low speed just until incorporated. We don't want to over mix. Now gently by hand, we're going to add in half of a cup of lilies, which is approximately 600 chips. And then, yes, I counted out 100 Reese's Pieces. And we're going to add those and then mix that in again gently by hand. And here's our Reese's Monster Cookie Batter. Let's get this put into the oven. Go ahead and take your baking sheet and line it with some parchment paper. With a small scoop, we're going to scoop our cookies. We need 24 cookies total for the smart points of this recipe. Look at these delicious cookies. I'm so excited. So I did go in after I scooped all 24 cookies and added some more batter. There was plenty to even make larger cookies. So this is going in an oven at 350 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes or until the cookies are cooked completely through. Oh my goodness. Look at these cookies. These look so delicious. I'm going to let these cool for about 15 minutes on the baking sheet and then I'll transfer them here to my cutting board. We'll go over points and calories. Wow, these look like bakery cookies. So my cookies are cooled here on the pan and I did remove a few over to the board here so you could see what these look like. Here's the size of the cookie in relation to my hand. So this is a good sized cookie. Each cookie is only four points, you guys, on all plants. So you can have a monster cookie with Reese's Pieces for four smart points. They're only 98 calories a piece. That's incredible for a cookie. Well, I know who's excited, me, to enjoy these all week long. Thank you for joining me on another WW meal prep. I promised three amazing recipes and I definitely delivered because these three recipes are to die for. They are all on my recipe website, which is linked down in the description box, along with nutrition coaching, links and discounts to all my favorite things and my Facebook group. So head on over and join us there. Don't forget to give this video a big, huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And of course, if you're new or you haven't yet subscribed, don't forget before you go to click that little red subscribe button and ring the bell next to it so you never miss a single video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic Monday, a wonderful, wonderful week, and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!